great. Just keep in mind, you know, if who's actually posting. You don't know them. You don't know what they've done. You don't know how they trade. You know, you don't know their account. You don't know anything, right? Just keep that in mind. So we're going, obviously, I've marked off uh, the news when it happens. Okay. So let's just take a, a little walk through here. This is starting on Monday. Good, uh, good time to start. Now, what you're going to see as we come in here, we get a long setup here at 56.82, right? I marked off here swing level. Now, if you didn't adjust around the swing level, you got taken into this trade. But don't just totally discount swing levels. You know, that's actual market structure, right? And you can see this is the first time hitting that area. Um, if I just scroll out a little bit there. And um, it's totally different than a, a number, like a, a, like a five or a zero. This is actual market structure. Actual market moved up and turned at this point. Okay, so, you know, pretty important to keep your eye on these kind of things. You just around the swing level, you don't get in this trade, and uh, good thing, because uh, it doesn't work out, all right? We got this setup here, doesn't trigger in, it's a short setup, and the adjustment around this is 53 down to 40, it's a 13 pip adjustment, now that's getting a little bit large, right? At the very least, just around the uh, 50 level, because the 50 level is still a pretty important level. So we get a short setup here at 56.52. Here's the adjusted entry right here. So you, you have to adjust your entry, right? You, you obviously you have to push your other your other targets out. Okay, well just remember as you do that, the system doesn't know that you're pushing them out. It doesn't know. The strategy doesn't know what you're doing. So this is where the art is really going to come into play. This is where you have to be really, really careful and watch what the prices are doing. All right, if they're dropping nice, all of a sudden they stop dropping and they start, you know, starting to go sideways. That's a warning sign. All right, consolidation is a warning sign. Yes, it can break lower, but in that little consolidation, what you're going to get is, is noise, right? Buy and sells back and forth, the little small increments. And those can kind of, uh, you know, bop you out of a trade pretty quick. So just keep that in mind. Here's the entry. The target's going to be way down here, not too much further down, but here is where the 1x is going to be, right here. The 1x is 2.5 of six, all right? So once we got down to here, it's uh, lock in plus one. That's what happens. Now, you know, you gotta remember what we're using here. We're using an indicator, right? So you gotta, um, even though you don't see it turned up here, you do get a set to go short, all right? So trust that the calculator is right. This profit line, for whatever reason, didn't tra change. You know, it could be any reason why. Right now, before what I used to do is uh, I would look at this as a re-entry. All right, but well, you know what? Once you're getting these printed, just because it doesn't show up here, it's an error somewhere, right? So this is it right here. The entry price is at 56.34. Adjusted around this little spike down, right? Right there, 56.28, and right to target. So that's the that's the one win. That would be it. And uh, this trade just triggers in before the cutoff time of 4.30. So that would be it for uh, for Monday. You, you banked your 19 and a bit pips minus your spread. All right now, just like I said, keep in mind, you know, if that's 10 bucks a, a pip that you made there, um, that's not that's not chump change, okay? And if what's going to happen, you start banking these winners, you're not taking money out of your account, what's going to happen is your account gets bigger. When you're risking, you know, 1%, 1.5%, 2%, 2%, well... You know what's going to happen with that, right? You get more positions put in. All right, so that's just what we did here. Just moved it around the directional. Moved it around the swing level. Okay, and as you go through this, you may find little things that you like better, you know. So let's check out what happened on Monday U.S. session. Pretty quick session, actually. Uh, in, the, in at uh, 56... 50, 50, oh, 55.90. 55.90, you know, there's a swing level way down here to work at. That's uh, <laughs> that's a big move. You're not going to be doing that. Um, you know, around zeros and stuff, I don't really uh, mess around with that. It is what it is. 50 level, though, that's, uh, that's key, you know, and around numbers. And there's your trade right there. Another quick uh, plus 19. And you're done. You're, you're, you're out of this trade and... Um, 
on with your day at 837 and people are just getting to work at this time and your work's pretty much done. And they're probably thinking, well, what's what's 19 pips? What's 18 pips after spread? Because it's actually 19.2. Uh, what is that? Well, it depends on your account size. You know, a lot of traders are vastly undercapitalized, which is forcing them to trade more, to make more money. You know, but the market's only going to give you so much. Now, in these videos, I'm you know, we're, we're at the basic, right? We're, we're kind of resetting back to the basics. So, you know, there's trailing opportunities, of course, but they're not being looked at right now. Uh, and if you did happen to trail this one down, well, you know, you're a little bit better off getting out at your full target. All right. Eventually, you know, you're going to catch those big moves. It's just a matter of time, right? Let's just move around here. So we had our one win, positive and done. All right. So we would be done at this time. Now, there was no news on this Monday. So let's just look uh, at this trade here. Is there a reason why you wouldn't take this trade? Well, you know, 55.85, obviously, you're not going to adjust around the directional. It is against the directional. It's not just border on the directional. So look at that as well, because usually what's going to happen when you get a setup up here, and our profit line has changed, right? That means the profit line has changed close to this directional. I'm sure, you know, put some thought into what that means. Uh, you could figure out that some trades against the directional are, are, are pretty good to take, right? So that would be it. Let's check out what happens on this day here. You come into the market, U.S. session, right? I mean, the uh, London session. I'll chop suey. That's all it's doing back here. Chop back and forth, chop back and forth. If I think, well, you don't know that. Yeah, but you know what? We don't get it set up anyways. This setup is actually in gears from the Asia session the night before. So let her play out. What do we get? We get a setup at 313. In the market at 317, roughly. You clicked in, right? Well, let's put it here. About 324, roughly. This, this candle finishes. And uh, out of your trade right here at 3.30. Nice, quick. Now, this is where the trailer would have worked out well. You would have got out about here. Remember, move down, levels off. You wait for, for it to level off, 55.24 from 55.60. Well, this is one of those trades that uh, you don't know how they're going to turn out, right? So you're going to trail, you're not going to trail. Another thing to look at when you're looking at directional trades or a swing level kind of trades where you're going into a swing level, just think about one thing. How far, if we're looking for about 15 pips, right, to get into uh, uh, an area where we get to manage our trade, you know, 14, 15 pips, um, will you be able to reach that level before running?